I used to drink 100 cans of cola a week, right up until my third heart attack. Who doesn't love pairing an ice-cold soda with a fantastic meal? Soda is excellent by itself, or it's the perfect accompaniment for everything from fast food to fine dining. Here we're going to talk about the top 10 beverage fails that are still rocking the soda industry to this day. Wolf Cola, uh -huh. that's a bogus soda distributor. I made it up. Hubba Bubba Original Bubble Gum Soda. Hubba Bubba Bubble Gum in a soda? But why? Well, why not? No childhood is complete without bubble gum. Think back to all the times you snuck gum into your school even when it wasn't allowed. Sure, that stuff tastes good, but everyone loves to live life on the edge. Otherwise, you're just an inert chunk of randomly assembled molecules drifting wherever the universe blows you. It might not seem so risky now, but it was a big time thrill to do something you knew was against the rules. If you're a chewing gum lover from way back when, then you must have been so excited to see Hubba Bubba Original Bubble Gum Soda. You probably didn't get a single or even a two-liter bottle of the bubble gum flavored soda pop? No, someone like yourself goes straight for the 12-pack. Now I have seen everything. Really? Who knew that bubblegum flavored soda would be so weird? The flavor is great when you're chewing, but maybe not so great when you're guzzling it down in a bubbly beverage. <gasps> bubbles! I love the bubbles! <coughs> Citra. Grapefruit. You either love it or hate it. No one ever seems to be on the fence when it comes to grapefruit. That's why it's surprising that Coca-Cola would come up with a brand of soda that tastes like grapefruit. The flavor was spot on when it came to delivering a healthy dose of grapefruit. Can you lose the grapefruit goggles when it's squishing my eye? Maybe that's why the soda didn't catch on with the masses. It takes a unique palate to be able to tolerate and enjoy anything that tastes like grapefruit. However, the people who can seem to tolerate such a flavor don't seem to want it in the form of a sugary drink. None of that comes as a surprise, since the people who eat the most grapefruit are hardcore dieters. Those who loved Citra didn't have to cry a river of tears when it was discontinued. It was rebranded as Fanta Citrus and is still enjoyed by people to this day. If you enjoy sweet and bitter tasting drinks, then go get yourself a two liter bottle of Fanta Citrus. No one but you will be able to enjoy the taste of grapefruit enough to drink anything more than a sip or two. Orange grapefruit. My god, America is imploding. Dr. Pepper Red Fusion. It looks like Diet Dr. Pepper. It's not that bad. Dr. Pepper holds a special place in the hearts of soda lovers. No one can ever accurately describe what Dr. Pepper tastes like. It is neither root beer nor cola. Nobody is sure what flavor it is, and nobody can be sure. If you consider yourself a lover of Dr. Pepper, then you're used to all of the stares when a stranger looks into your refrigerator. It's odd because at the end of the day, the taste of Dr. Pepper isn't out of the ordinary at all. It tastes like a sweet, bubbly soda pop that's great by itself or with food. Why did Dr. Pepper Red Fusion fail? Was it because it had a strong cherry backbone along with other fruit flavors? No one knows for sure why it failed. It could have something to do with who regular Dr. Pepper drinkers are. The flavor of Dr. Pepper Red Fusion may have been too far out there for the average Dr. Pepper fan. Dr. Pepper itself has the reputation of an oddity, and that also probably didn't help it at all. Dr. Pepper Red Fusion Fusion lasted less than a year, and it's one of those drinks that many of you probably didn't get to try even once. Which is probably for the best. Slice. Slice is a surprising failure on this list since it was hugely successful at one point. Pepsi needed something to go up against the highly successful Sprite, and Slice was their choice. Slice, in some ways, was ahead of the game, since there was more than only the lemon-lime variety. There were also other fruit flavors of Slice that customers seemed to like. Mandarin Orange was one flavor that stood out, since it had a bold flavor that tasted similar to Minute Maid soda. I hope you haven't eaten yet. I'm starving. You wanna grab a slice? It may surprise some to know that Slice was even served up at Taco Bell back in the 90s. Those days seemed like they were many moons ago to those who loved Slice. Some Walmart shoppers might be thinking that they've seen Slice on the shelf lately. Walmart does indeed have a soda called Slice on the shelf, but it's not the same stuff. Same, same, but different. 
The brand Slice has been licensed out and is now used by another company. Any Slice products you find at your local Walmart or other stores have nothing in common with the original Slice that people drank in the past other than the name. Crystal Pepsi Mmm, invisible cola. Lovers of cola are a breed all of their own. If you have cola flowing in your veins instead of blood, then you know how true these words are. Truth! What Pepsi did with their cola was something that made people scratch their heads. How can a cola be clear? Isn't that like offering up a meatless Slim Jim? It seems far-fetched to people today, but back then it was thought of as revolutionary. A crystal clear soda had the appeal to those who didn't want any artificial dyes or caffeine. Yes, Crystal Pepsi had no caffeine in it. Crystal Pepsi had a loyal following who felt devastated when it was discontinued. Fast forward to over a decade later, and it was brought back by popular demand. We're finally ready to relaunch Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi wasn't to become a permanent item on supermarket shelves, but this gave hope to enthusiasts that it might come back yet again. It wouldn't be all too surprising if Pepsi decided to bring back Crystal Pepsi a third time. Who knows, it might be a limited run thing that people rush out for. All of that sounds pretty silly, until you realize that's pretty much how the McRib rolls. No one knows when McDonald's is going to unleash the McRib onto the public, but you can rest assured that it will be back. Maybe be the same will hold true with Crystal Pepsi. We never shut down. Tab clear. Coca-Cola couldn't sit idle while Pepsi made out like a bandit with its Crystal Pepsi. The decision was made to compete head-on with a clear drink, and Coca-Cola would do so under the Tab brand. As to why they didn't produce a clear version of their famous Coke brand is anyone's guess. Maybe they understood that the clear soda phase was just that, and it wouldn't last for long. Mike, I offer you a drink. Tab. Not, not now, 80s robot. That doesn't seem like it would stop them, as there have been several types of Coke to come out that didn't last for long. Tab Clear was born out of necessity as a means to compete against Pepsi in a market they felt the brand was lacking in. Tab Clear didn't last long, and it had one specific difference to Crystal Pepsi, and that is that it had caffeine. Customers who wanted the pick-me-up of caffeine in a soda were sadly disappointed in Crystal Pepsi. Those same customers could give Tab Clear a try to see if it had the boost they were looking for. The writing was on the wall for Tab Clear long before it hit shelves. Fads like these rarely last long, and they fizzle out fast. The product was a winner, but the concept was anything but. Or was it? Some say Coca-Cola released Tab Clear with the full intention of having it fail and, in the process, take down Crystal Pepsi with it. This sounds like the Cola War in action. Say goodbye to the Cola Wars. The victor, Eastern Airlines Cola. Jolt Cola. Jolt Cola, the soft drink of the elite hacker. Who are these guys? Jolt Cola has always had a cult following. Does Jolt Cola taste as good as Coke or Pepsi? Well, the answer to that question depends on who you ask. Some will say that they didn't drink Jolt because of the flavor. So why did they drink Jolt Cola? It was because of the jolt of caffeine they received from the cola. You see, Jolt Cola has twice the caffeine of other sodas. That means it packs the type of punch for those who need that late-night pick-me-up. The cult following Jolt Cola built up came during a time when energy drinks didn't exist. What did you do if you wanted to stay up late to cram for a college exam? You downed pot after pot of coffee or sucked down a few Jolt Colas. It's still possible to find Jolt Cola on the shelf in some areas out west. The company behind Jolt Cola isn't what it used to be. They've been through some hardships, and time will only tell if they will bounce back. Now someone give me a Jolt Cola! It does not exist anymore! Every Jolt Cola fan hopes that they will be able to go to their favorite gas station or grocery store and buy a 12-pack of this liquid energy booster. No one knows for sure what will happen since the market is already full of drinks that give out crazy doses of energy. If Jolt Cola wants to survive, it may have to rebrand itself while trying to appeal to a new, younger audience. Millennials, who are they? What do they want? 7-Up Gold 
For years upon years, 7up has told us they are the Uncola. Wait, uh, what? They are the brand of soda that is simple and caffeine free. All of that was thrown out the window with the introduction of 7up Gold. Make it quick, flu cop. I'm turning everything in my house gold. Anyone who was around to sample this stuff had to be somewhat dumbfounded by it. Sure, 7up Gold had a fantastic flavor. The flavor of 7up Gold was created by the good folks over at Dr. Pepper. Pepper. It shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that the people behind Dr. Pepper would come up with a taste no one could pinpoint. It wasn't that the taste was terrible, it's just that no one could describe what it tasted like. 7-Up Gold was far too odd than what the average 7-Up drinker was into. The flavor was kind of like cinnamon, and the color was reddish. It wasn't the clear fizzy liquid that many 7-Up drinkers loved so much. The product itself was far too strange and that might be why it failed. Would 7-Up Gold have worked if it was rebranded under a different name completely? It's quite possible that the public would have been more receptive of 7-Up Gold if it wasn't such a different product from what they were used to. We'll never know since 7-Up Gold was pulled off the shelf and was never reintroduced under any other name. Let's never speak of it again. New Coke. How do you even drink that? because it's delicious. New Coke has been called one of the biggest marketing failures of all time. Who knew that changing the formula and flavor of a beloved product would have such an impact? Anyone would have known that if they didn't have their head in the sand. In the 1980s, Coke was losing ground to Pepsi, and they wanted to regain their brand within the public. Coca-Cola was in crisis mode since people felt that the brand was for older people. Pepsi was the choice of the new generation, and the various ad campaigns demonstrated this. However, that didn't mean people wanted something different than the original Coca-Cola they knew and loved. It wasn't more than a day or two after the release of New Coke that Coca-Cola knew they had a disaster on their hands. The problem was, customers didn't have a choice between new and old Coke. They were stuck with the new Coke, and that is when the outrage began. When everyone hates it, we'll bring back Slurm Classic and make billions. It wasn't long until Coca-Cola Classic hit the shelves and the public once again had their favorite cola back. Some think it might have been a marketing stunt by Coke just to get people talking and drinking their cola again. Most discount this theory, given how Coca-Cola responded to the backlash in a way that genuinely proved their surprise. New Coke may have been a flop, but it proved once and for all that Coca-Cola has a special place in the hearts of its loyal drinkers. You mess with Coke, and you've got serious problems on your hands. It's like the new Coke. It'll be around forever. <laughs> Josta. Josta. Better do the good stuff now. Josta was an energy drink before such a thing existed. Who knew that people needed something other than coffee to give them a boost? If you were alive back in the 90s, you probably remember Josta. The flavor of Josta was unique, and so was the guarana in the drink. Pepsi had the frame of mind to introduce everyone to the world of energy drinks. They just didn't have the right balance of substance and flavor to pull it off. Josta was only on the shelves for a handful of years. It wouldn't be long until it was an afterthought. Now, people don't have to reminisce about days gone by when they could get liquid energy in a bottle. Every convenience store today is stocked to the gills with energy drinks. You can guzzle down your energy of choice in the form of a little shot or a sugary sweet cold beverage. Josta was the first energy drink brought to the masses, and like with many first loves, it's hard to get over it. Don't have a nervous breakdown thinking about how you'll never savor the flavor of this drink packed with energy. Instead, there are plenty of ways to get that jolt of energy from one of the many other drinks capable of making your heart race. Oh, so I had a few Red Bulls, drove to New York, what's a big deal? Hey, here's my little man! <laughs> Tap that screen for more great videos and click on that subscribe button and notification bell.